Hello, my name is Althea Gobble, and this is a Demi Color tutorial. First, I'd like to add color to my face. So I'm kind of pale. Pale is more on the blue side, so I'm using an orange seven. In places on my forehead where I have some excess pigmentation, I use a red orange five. The red helps with some of the green of the excess freckling on the top of my forehead. And now we sculpt. Sculpt is giving some contour and added structure to the face using opposite colors. Here I'm using some NO and NR for hyperpigmentation. So I use the red and the O for excess shadow and it just balances and gives me a nice warmth but yet added dimension. To my temples where I'm a little more hollow, I use just the NO. And here you see me using NV plus one just for a little extra punch. Don't do this on a daily basis, but just for a little more excess shadow using a smaller brush, I'm just accentuating some added shadow to give me more of a lifted cheek. Just make sure it's a little product. Now I'm gonna take red seven and flip it right there on my cheeks. I have a lot of large freckles, which are green and the red helps with that. And it also gives me added color. And I take just a little bit of the red violet seven and give me a little nice cut there on my cheek. Now I'm gonna subtract color in the center of my face using orange three, O three. It works nicely because it takes out the shadow of the large pores in my cheeks. Then I use a red one. And this helps with that green that I have just underneath my eye. Now I'm filtering. You're gonna see me use red orange three and I'll use it quite a bit. I find that we have common colors throughout our face that are specific to us. That also means our distractions are gonna have common colors that we need to neutralize as well. All of my pigmentation that are similar to the color that you see me filtering out need red orange three. Before Demi, I wanted to always erase and cover all of my freckles. Traditional makeup just covers them all. But with Demi, I can select the ones that are not as cute, maybe large, maybe to kind of spread out. Using this red orange three on me, I can take those out and leave the ones that are more on the cute side and make me more unique and more Althea. And I'm just covering the ones that are more distracting, darker, especially the ones that are in a wrinkle. And I'm still using a little tiny skinny brush, uh, a little artist brush that I got from Walmart and using the red orange three just over those little dark points. And it does not take as long as I thought it would because I'm not touching all of them. And I've learned where all of them are. So it goes quite fast. Your eye learns really quickly about what color is what. I'm not thinking, okay, this is green, this is blue. I don't have to do that thinking anymore because in this bundle, it's all done for me. I just know this tin is what I use for this distraction. This tin is what I do in this step. I don't think about the actual color anymore. And that frees up more time for thinking of areas of that might need more attention, like a pimple, or I want to change a little bit of uh, application on my eyes. So I don't have to think about the little small distractions because they all have their home place and their color that I use for them. Now I'm using red one, and I only use it in places that are just such a fair amount of green, but I have learned just right there on top of that cheek and right here underneath the eye, most ladies, we have a little bit of pigment right there. And according to your skin tone, you'll either need a red or you'll need an orange. I can help you with that. That kind of just brightens up. If you'll just see, I'm adding red one just right there where I have a subtle amount of green and there on the top of my cheek. And you can see how bright the entire eye area looks by just taking out that a fair amount of green there. And if you need help with that, I can help you. Now, wiping off my brush, I've moved on to Y01. I use Y01, the yellow and the orange, for purple and blue. So the way I see it is something that has a berry feel to it, like raspberry or blueberry. The Y01 works really well. If it's really, really dark, use the O Y01. And here I'm working with a pimple and I'm only going into the areas that have that berry feel to it and it does have dark points in it and I'll come back to it for another color in just a minute. But I've 
found certain little areas that I have a broken capillaries, a healing pimple. They all have that blueberry feel or raspberry feel. Now I'm going to sculpt out the nose. I'll use an NO in the end of my nose where I have some larger pores. If I get too much product, I kind of keep rubbing or tap it with my finger, but tilt your head side to side and kind of look at it. And it should kind of disappear as you turn your head. You should not see a harsh line or it look unusual. And if you have too much, tap it with your finger first and just play around with the color a little bit. Don't be too nervous about using some sculpt on your nose, but definitely tilt your head around and kind of look at the individual colors. So I am using NO and in sections of it, like right here, see I got too much, I'm dusting it away. And I'm using just a hint of NR on the tip where I have some freckling. But I have to be very cautious and pay close attention to what I'm doing here because I can make other things show up darker because I am adding color. So I've just got to be kind of gingerly with it. And if I get too much, I don't sweat it, just dust it off. Now I'm using the NV, which is violet, definitely has a touch of blue in it, and I'm just adding a little extra shadow on the end of my nose just to give me a little more structure. And I'm using the NR on my lips, on the top, very gingerly, very softly. Gotta be cautious there, I have lines around my lips. I do not want too much added color, but I do like to take the NV and take and soften a shadow underneath my lip to give a little extra pout. The joys of getting older. We tend to lose some color in our lips. They tend to collapse a little bit. So adding this little bit of extra color to the lips really helps add volume. Now I'm gonna back to that nice little friend I have there and I've changed colors to O3 to take out blue and I'm taking out the shadow of some large pores on my nose. You can see I, I like to stick with a color and continue using it and finish using it. And the great thing about Demi, the steps and the process can change and vary. Um, basically, I just highly recommend just jumping in and playing. You'll know when you get it wrong because it won't look right. It won't look like you're wiping it away and you learn really, really fast what color goes with what. What you don't want to do is layer colors on top of each other because you won't learn the colors on the face and what works. But here you see I'm just taking a little bit of time of a couple large pores that I do not like on my nose and tapping a little bit of O3 in them. Now I'm going to take a little bit of red violet seven and adding some color to the perimeter of my lip just on the inside where I've lost color due to aging. Also aging, when we lose some color, it allows veins and blood vessels to show through. So I'm going to use some O3 to take out those dark points on my lips as well. Plus I have some freckles on my lips that the O3 works well on. The longevity of Demi on the lips surprised me, but it makes sense. Since I'm not putting one color all over my lips and as the day goes, it wears off and you see where your lip color that you applied and your natural lip color is. So it makes it look as if it has worn off. Here, I'm not applying all over my lips. I'm just working with the color of my natural lip, taking out dark points, adding color where I need it. By doing this, it has longevity. Now you see that I'm taking a little bit of red five and kind of giving a nice little dusting to the outer part. This is matching my natural lip color. Some days I use the red seven, some days I use the red violet seven. So you have a little room to play there. That's the other reason why I love the Angel Edits because you do have options to play with other colors that work with filtering and adding color. Now I'm just taking a little bit of the red one and playing on the lot on the top part of my lip. This works because I do have some freckling right there and so they're a lot green. So the red one works well with that. I'm gonna move on to eyes. I want to do my brows. I'm using the Indigo Contour from my 3D palette and a line brush. The cool thing about Demi that I've discovered is when I'm using certain colors on my eyes, 
because I have tattooing at my lash line, I can put the 07 right on top of my lash line because it definitely has a little bit of blue in it. It tones down that blue and it gives me this beautiful green brown color. So it gives me options with Demi Color. I just don't have to use just one. I can get a different look each time. Now I'm using the NV plus one and this really matches a shadow that I naturally have and it gives me some added contour to my eyelids. So it's above my crease, not in the crease and I'm using the smallest amount and you can see how it just accentuates my shadow and it gives me added depth. I filter out a couple of age spots, they're in the brow part, and when I do that, it instantly looks as if I put a lighter color shade on my brow bone, and that brings it forward and gives me nice lift and definition and structure to the eyes, which is the whole point of eyeshadow anyway. And just for a little bit of detail work, I'm taking a little bit of red one and applying it right there, right on that little tear duct area on the outer part and this takes out a little bit of green veining that I have there. I can also do this with another color, but I just use a little bit of the red one and apply some mascara and I'm all done. So if you're ready to be color match or you're interested in Demi, go to yes.altheamatchme.com and I'll be glad to assist you in selecting colors or which bundle works best for you, either a mini filter edit, a filter edit, or an angel edit, which is my favorite.